Week two was a mother grab. Hey, what's up? This is Sean Green and welcome to the channel. Today's video is about two things. One, I'm going to give you an update on my 30-day intermittent fast. By the way, this is day 14. Two, I'm going to talk about the top five mistakes that people make while intermittent fasting. So here we go with those updates. All right, this is day 14. And let me talk about my goal for intermittent fasting. My goal is weight loss, but that's not my only goal. My goal is to discipline myself and give myself the willpower to say no to food. Why? 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 At times you'll find that if you're bored or you have nothing to do, you may start snacking. That's a big problem that I have, and I'm trying to cut that. And I was also told that if you stop doing something for 21 days, you can break that habit. So I'm hoping to do that with sugar. Let's talk about weight loss. So since I've started, I've lost five pounds. It's been two weeks. Naturally, you should only lose about two pounds per week. Anything over that, you have to watch out. It may be water weight and it may be very, very unhealthy. I've had friends that have gone on diets and lost 14 pounds in one week. And that's not sustainable. So if you're lingering around one and a half to two pounds a week, then you're good to go. Can you hear that? Can you hear that crashing in the background? Why is it every time I do a video, people decide to do work outside? Maybe they're working all the time, who knows? I just wanna let you know, it's a fucking pain in the ass. Let's talk about how I feel. My energy is way up through the roof, but here's a drawback. Sometimes I can't get to sleep at night and that's not good at all. So overall, 14 days in, I'm feeling pretty great. It was great! My stamina on my workouts have gotten better, which I love. And I figure it's gonna take me three months to get where I wanna be. But my goal is 10 pounds per month, consistent, consistent drop as we go on. All right, let's get to the top five biggest mistakes that you can make while you intermittent fast. This is a song we call top five. I just made it up and it's called top five. Mistake number one, not drinking enough water. I don't know if that edit worked. Water is your best friend. Let me tell you why. Let me get rid of this. Wait. Did it work? Water is your best friend, and this is why. When you sleep, you're dehydrating yourself. You're not drinking water because you're asleep. So if you wake up, and you do your daily routine, and my daily routine was wake up, have a cup of coffee. Coffee has caffeine. Caffeine will dehydrate that ass. So make sure you drink enough water. Two, not getting your electrolytes. So with that water we talked about, you wanna make sure you get your potassium, get those minerals, or you can get those electrolyte packets. Make sure your electrolytes don't have sugar in them because that sugar will break your fast. The key to a fast is keeping the insulin levels down. Sugar's gonna throw those things up. Symptoms of high insulin, increased hunger, excessive sugar cravings. You'll put on weight, you'll be tired as hell, and you won't wanna do anything. That sucks. Three, breaking your fast with the wrong foods. I had a friend say, but you can eat whatever you want since you're fasting, right? meaning they wanted to eat carbs like crazy. And I was like, no, the key to the fast is not just stuffing your face with whatever you want. Basically, I just said, if you just wanna eat carbs, then just eat carbs. That brings me to something that I heard back in the days. You wanna know the secret to having that body that you want? You just have to be satisfied with the stinky piece of shit body that you already have. So no, you shouldn't break it with carbs. Because as I said in my last point, you eat those carbs, insulin level will shoot up. And the point of the fast is to keep them down. So what you want to do is you want to break your fast with single ingredient foods, vegetables, protein, things like that. Four, 
not knowing the right drinks to have during your fast. I tell my friends they can have coffee, tea, water. Here's the thing. You don't want to have coconut water because that has sugar in it. That breaks your fast. You don't want to have coffee with milk in it because milk has sugar in it and that'll break your fast. You don't want to do almond milk unless it's unsweetened. But I, I don't even mess with that. I do oat milk, but I don't put it in my coffee during the fast. I do this. Let's see if we could do another edit. I do cafe Americano. So the key is I fill the ice all the way to the top. So when the ice melts, you'll get extra water into that. Because um, I find that just drinking the coffee gives me headaches. So I'll do the iced Americano. And when you drink black coffee, you can actually taste the coffee. Back in the days, we were drinking shit, but we didn't know because we had so much milk and sugar in it. You were just tasting the milk and sugar. That brings me to five. Not allowing yourself a refeeding day. What is refeeding? Let's break it down like this so you can understand it. So in a fast, you're basically going to be a caloric deficit because as the days progress, your appetite is going to shrink. You're not going to be able to eat as much. I used to be able to eat like a whole personal pizza. And then after three slices, I'm feeling really full. What the hell is going on? I used to be a glutton, but now I'm not. So your body may think that you are starving. So if you stay on this intermittent fast, there's going to be a time when you're going to plateau and you're not going to lose any weight. You're going to be upset. You're going to be discouraged. That's the word I was thinking about. Discouraged. But if every six days you choose your seventh day as a refeeding day, where you give yourself some carbs, but make sure they're good carbs. Okay? Grains, sweet potatoes, rice, cakes. Don't do cakes. Because... The whole purpose of the fast is to teach you how to eat correctly. You want to eat high volume foods that have low calories. All jokes aside. But a refeeding day is very, very important for your body. So let's go through it again. Drink tons of water. Get your electrolytes. Don't break your fast with carbs. Don't drink the wrong liquids during your fast and always remember your refeeding day. So if you made it this far, I want to say thanks for tuning in. I hope this video helped you out a lot. Down in the description, you can find a list of what we just talked about. Also, you can find links to my socials. I'm at Instagram, Twitter, at the Sean Green, T-H-E-S-E-A-N-G-R-E-N. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to follow the journey, you can subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you know every time we put out a video. I try to put them out every week, but the editing is kicking my butt. If you want to deep dive into the channel, please deep dive into the channel. We got my podcast here, it's called The Flex. It's mostly like funny stories about my basketball career and some sports, but tiny, tiny, tiny. And if you're into basketball breakdowns, we've got a video over here. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And see you next time. Peace. Oh, the hole in the shirt.